guys, it's Twitter and Maxwell here. Welcome to another edition of the Perfect Journey, where we hit a few speed bumps last season, but hopefully we're on the road to a promotion this year. And what a better way to start the season off with a home tie against Cole Marnock. So big pressure here, got off to a good start. A couple of tricky fixtures coming up afterwards. A trip to Airdrie, a, quip, a trip to Queen of the South, and then a trip to my club, Motherwell, after a trip up north to face... Borough Rangers in the League Challenge Cup. So obviously we got through in the League Challenge Cup. That was a good victory over Forfar. Did take us a little bit of time, but we got the right result. We then faced Montrose in the League Cup first round. And it looked plain easy. Two early goals from Denny Johnson and Solomon Koulibaly. Gives a 2-0 lead before Denny Johnson made it 3. They pulled one back through Declan Millen. We then scored a fourth, the hat-trick for Denny Johnston. Four. Ryan Miller made it 4-2. But at the end of the day, we got through. We're into the second round, and that will see us with a tie. A weak Inverness, so it's winnable. It's going to be difficult. Hopefully we get a good result out of it, and hopefully we can go a little cup run. As you can see, it's a, lot, it's a big run of away games, but hopefully when we get the runs of home games, we can really kick on. We we'll just need to wait and see. Couple of signings since you last joined us. We've failed to get um, Hepburn Murphy on loan from Villa. Joe Rodon rejected us from Swansea, and we've been rejected from Matthias Zimmerman from Hearts. But we did, did get some ins, and those guys are as follows. Gradis, and I said we're looking at. He's going to bring a good bit of quality to the defence. He's got a few attributes there. I'm happy with. Hopefully, he can improve. Paying a bit of money towards him, one and a half k. Decent standard of club champ. Well. League one kind of clubs, so if we can get to that level, I'll, I'll be more than happy. So, we've been looking at the kind of players to bring in. So, he's come in. Uh, also, in a centre back is Johnny Byrne. He seems to have a couple of attributes there that could make him stand out, maybe lacking a bit mentally. I feel like he's someone that can come in and do a turn on loan. Another centre back, making sure we've got as many options as possible, is Fabio Della Giovanni or Giovanna. And I feel like he's someone who has a bit of potential. There's definitely room to improve. But 20, I see him as being someone that can play on the left side, that can improve and be sold on for hopefully a good bit of money. And our final recruit, on loan, just about a pace up front, Duncan Watmore. I thought, why not? Pace his striker, gives us that other option to go long, and then he can just run his little heart out and hopefully get us some goals. As far as departures, Reese McCabe has went to Motherwell for 30k. Good chance to sell him on, and a couple of players have headed out on loan. Overall, I'm looking forward to this season, and I'm hoping this system we're going to be playing can do the job. The team to play against Kamalak today is going to be Connor Ripley. It's going to be Burnley and Votto at the back with Dembele sitting in front of them. Callum Woods down one side, Campello will make his debut down the other. And then it's going to be Osborne in the ball winning midfielder role with McDonald as a box to box midfielder. Lewis Mellon playing in behind with Elbak Tui and Koulibaly leading the line. Risky, but I think we're going to use Denny Johnson as an impact sub. He'll be there, Harry Caldwell will be there, Lewis Kidd will be there, and Duncan Watmore. So there's definitely quality there. Could argue there's a lot of quality missing as well. But it's good to have all these options, and hopefully it can get us promoted. But we'll try these guys out for this game. We'll give Duncan Watmore the number 17 jersey and Giovanni 16. But we're putting faith in these guys. Hopefully they can do the job. Hopefully they can get us some sort of result. And hopefully we can get promoted. We're looking for SPL football next year. I say Rangers are gone. They're in the top flight now. So it's going to be really, really close, I think. I don't think one team will run away with it. They're playing very deep. They're interesting midfield. The Vigors, Jamie Hamill, Adam Moffat and Greg Kilty. And definitely goals up there with Rory Loy. Chris Boyd, but I'm hoping you know we can cause him a bit of problems. If we can keep the ball away from Chris Boyd, he's really going to be ineffective. But I mean, if they can get the balls played into him, and they're in a the penalty area, and I see Chris Boyd making a, a massive um, statement here. But then again, I have to remember this is like the third season now, so he'll be getting on a good bit. You'll know exactly be a, a spring chicken. He certainly isn't at the start of the game. So I just need to hope this bumper crowd here at East End Park can cheer us on. And we get the win as Muller will take the lead through David Clarkson. A bit interesting facing Muller because it'll be a combination of like younger players coming through. Um, a lot of loan signings and obviously some people have kept on. But there won't be that many because quite a few of them have came away. Don't firm on here. So 
I really don't know what to expect from Motherwell. Uh, Falker could be interesting. It's really just going to see how clubs have, have worked over the summer. There's McDonald looking out for Campello. Can he swing the right ball in? It's a good one. And it's in the back of the net there. Suleimani Koulibaly. Fell over his own feet at the front post. But L back to the at the back post with a lovely finish. Good run there from Campello. Good bit of energy. Plays in with his weaker foot. No idea what Koulibaly is doing. But it falls kindly to L back to the. And he puts it in the back of the net. So a good lead there. Can we keep this to half time? A second goal would be ideal. But you know, it's a good position to be in. And it shows us we can beat these sides. That's the thing. We could beat these sides. It was the weaker teams I felt last year. That we kind of struggled against. A horrible record against Airdrie. And um, we just need to make sure we're not complacent in the second half. That's what I've said to them. Keep it the same because I feel we're playing okay. Um, I'm a big believer and if it's not broken then there's no need to fix it, you know, but there's still a long way to go in this football match. Here's McDonald, flicks it back in, is he going to get it back? He gets it, and it's off the post mill back to it, it just won't fall for him. And Ross Barber gets it away there, you see Chris Boyd lurking, waiting for that opportunity. But it just doesn't come from, but that's, it's good, we're putting pressure on them. We're really showing that we have the potential here to go up. The board want us to at least get top four. We're going to aim for that title. So I'd rather not go through the the rigors of a of a playoff campaign. I think that would be absolutely nerve wracking to say the least. Last year I could have accepted it because we're straight up, but this year I'm hoping that we can improve enough that we can look at promotion uh, and then from there look to get better and better. But here's Rory Loy on the back of Invoto, and let's just say the strike is not pretty. Well wide there from Rory Loy, the former Rangers, and Dundee man. And I've actually replaced them with Dale Carrick. So I think we're going to make our first change, and it's going to be Fuzzy old Elbak Toy, the goal scorer. And he's going to be replaced by Denny Johnson. So if you get him in the right place, you know, there's a good chance he can score. I think we're probably looking at taking off Koulibaly as well for Watmore's pace. Maybe bring on a bit of energy for Sean McDonald. But here's Ripley. Looking for Johnston. Here's McDonald. Looking for Campello, it's a bit asking a bit much from and Rory McKeon gets rid of it. For Vigors, Craig Slater, Dale Carrick has pulled away on the left hand side. He's gonna cross it in and it's in the back of the net. So simple for Kevin Colley and the former Celtic trainee. It's a perfect counter attack. Great pace shown by Dale Carrick. Maybe should be looking to put our full backs back as more our wing backs back as full backs and just sitting deep when we're winning games, but it's that Need to try and kill the game off, and we just don't seem to do it. So it's going to be Killer Bally coming off for Duncan Watmore. And I think in the middle of the park, it's going to be a chance for Lewis Kidd. Again, playing a variety of positions. But I'm just hoping he can use his energy here and hopefully drag us back into the lead. I do have a bad feeling about this, though. Now here's Carrick. For Vigor, so he's got a good cross on him. Back to Moffat. Barbar, Carrick heads it across goal, and Kilty. You could just tell they were going to score there. There was that little bit of lag, that little bit of lag from the game. And sometimes you get that little lag, you, you know there's a goal coming, but Carrick somehow keeps it in play. It's over the head of Ripley, who's not even making a, a proper effort there. It's kind of backpedalling. Uh, it's just absolutely shocking. Here's Osborne looking for Woods. A long driven ball if Johnson can square it. And Johnson decides to be greedy. There's not really a lot we can do here to change, I think. Lesson learned for this will be to change the, the wing backs to full backs once we're in front. You know, they can't bomb up and down that all game. Not sensible when we're, we're ahead, but we've been truly exposed in the second half. We need to chase the game now. And Dale Carrick hasn't has pretty much killed it off. So absolutely shocking to be in such a good position. They bring on some pace up front in the likes of Dale Carrick and Kevin Colley. And we've just been so open defensively. Which is disappointing. But as I say, a lot of that's got to go on me. That's really, really poor um in the in the second half. We just Millen. Kid can find Campello. It's a good ball in, Duncan Watmore. Good save for the goalkeeper. And hopefully we can keep this pressure on. Osborne looks for Woods, but it's gonna be dealt with. And we're going to be pushed back Dembele, and that's the end of that highlight again. 
I don't know if that is because of the the closing down, but the fitness issue is, is a problem here. It just seems every team I have just has terrible, terrible fitness. Despite being a balanced um, training regime and significant rest. So strange, but you know, we'll work on our mistakes here. I could have been four if the referee blows his whistle. So disappointing, aggressive because of how much they threw that away. Um, disappointing the likes of Falkirk and Kilmarnock all peeled away there with victories. Cooney the South, I don't know where they'll be, but it's got to be better in the next game against Airdrie. And then um, hopefully we can pick up some results away from home. But we'll definitely try and play a bit more counter away from home because that was not great. Maybe it was his team talk. Maybe his team talk was better than mine. I just said don't get complacent. They attacked in the right way. But we were pretty poor. Really, really poor. And just hoping we can improve on that. Because it's a promotion playoff. It's pressure to get some high points. We know if we're consistent. There wasn't many teams that were too consistent last year. So if we can be the most consistent, we can be looking at promotion. So disappointing, it has to be said. But it is what it is. Uh, we just need to work on for there. So that's it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you'll join us for the next one, which is going to be a little special one, as it's going to be the visit to Fir Park. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it as we see Motherwell versus Motherwell, pretty much, because of the amount of players we've got for them. And hopefully we have a little run-up the league as well, with a couple of good results away from home. That's it, guys. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you're enjoying the save. If you enjoyed the video, please give you a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm going to get promoted, or is it going to be a, a season of disaster? How do you guys personally play your backs? Let me know. Was I stupid enough not to, to pull them back? Let me know in the comment section, guys. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Coming soon. Bye, guys, and take it easy.